Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, welcome. Uh, well, Hi, teacher. Session, good evening. Good evening. Session three is here. Uh, I don't know why, but Wednesday is one of my favorite days during the week. It's strange, but I feel good on Wednesdays. Do you have a favorite day? Fridays. <laughs> Fridays for Diana. Okay, anybody else? Saturday. Saturday for me. Saturday yeah. for you. Okay, cool. Anybody else who has a different day? I know that everybody loves the weekends, right? But Monday. <laughs> yeah. Monday. <laughs> you like no. You like, no. <laughs> oh, that I was a joke. Monday. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, hate that, I think there are millions of people around the world who hate Mondays. <laughs> yes. I wonder why. Okay, so how are you feeling today, Francisco? Good, teacher. Good. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Ana Mariela? How are you doing? Hi. Hi, good evening. How are you doing today? Um, I have technical problems. For now. Ah, okay, okay, I got it. I like to see people smile, okay? I see Juan Jose, Diana, Blanca, and Francisco with a big smile right now. Okay, Jessica, welcome. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Uh... I'm fine, teacher. Hi, fine, teacher. And okay, you? everything's great. Uh, I just received okay. a little, a little present, and I, I'm, I'm happy for that. It's, look, it's a little uh, keyring or keychain with a cactus. So it's uh, because um, I because I love plants. So they gave me that and a little bracelet that is uh, handmade by a Salvadoran woman. So. It was a, a, a little nice present. And let's see, Jacqueline. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening. So-so. Why so-so? <laughs> because- I mean, so-so is, so -so is not good, it's not bad, right? But- Not so good, not so bad. Uh-huh. Training. It's raining. And I can eat. And I can hear you very oh, well. That's the reason. Okay. Yes. Do you have earphones or headphones? Eh, no. No. Uh, no. It doesn't work. They don't work. Got it. Okay. So one one reason to start shopping online. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice, Jacqueline. Ana Beatriz, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really like, I'm, re I'm really, um, I feel nice. You feel nice. Okay. Yes. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And thank you. Uh, let me check. Brenda. Long time no see. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, good evening. I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm great. Okay, better impossible. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes. Uh, let's see who else is here. Glenda. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Today you have good connection, right? I see that your yes. camera works, the microphone works, so that's good news. Yes, I have this. Okay, great to know. Uh, well, I received uh, some people, uh, well, some people's uh, recordings and messages, so thank you. The rest of the people that haven't done it, um, you can do it later, don't worry about that. We're going to share that in a moment, by the way. 
uh, what we were doing yesterday about the review of a restaurant. So we're going to listen to different people, right? So I'm going to ask a couple of volunteers here in the, in the group uh, session. And then I'm going to make some small breakout rooms with three or four participants so that you can listen to different people uh, sharing their ideas of, or the review of a restaurant. Uh, Miguel Angel, good evening. Can you hear me? Mr. I think Miguel Angel Centeno, right? Uh, the internet is bad. Okay, I understand, Ruth. Thank you for telling me about that. Uh, okay, so we have some problems with him. So we continue with Karen. How are you feeling, Karen? I know today you were going to have a busy day, but- A little bit tired, but I'm but, but good. Here, surviving. <laughs> Okay, surviving like the majority of us. That's correct. Okay, we are warriors. We're Salvadorians, so we keep on fighting no matter yes. what, even if it's raining. Okay, so let's continue with Suleyma. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, how are you today? I'm good. I'm celebrating. <laughs> celebrating My what? my brother's birthday. <laughs> oh, your brother's birthday. Okay, I think that tomorrow I'm going to ask you for your birthday, so I am going to take notes. Uh, maybe okay. during the course we, we have a birthday person, right? So we can celebrate online. Uh, <laughs> we never know, we never know. Uh, <laughs> is there anybody whose birthday is um, this month? Or the next one? Is there anybody in the group whose birthday is this month or the next one? No? Uh, Blanca, your birthday is this month? My, the, yes, but was the 14th of this month. 14th. Oh, it was last week, I think, right? Yes. Okay, uh, so. Monday. Happy, oh. happy belated <laughs> birthday. Happy belated yeah. birthday for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. Uh, we're going to start by uh, checking that everybody's here. Give me just a second. Uh, here it is. I was looking for this, but I had it in front of me. I didn't see it. Okay. So I am going to call out your name, right? So you say present or here, uh, so I can check that you are uh, since the beginning of the session. The first person in the list is Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. So Ana, it's nice meeting you. Uh, my name is Freddy Marquez and these are your classmates. Probably you know some of them. Uh, Where are you from, uh, Anna? What information can you share uh, about you with us? I'm Salvadorian. I work at Bank of America and I'm a okay. lawyer. And you're a lawyer. Okay, so you have yes. to be careful with, with Anna, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, nice. I think there is another person from Santa Tecla, so probably you're going to meet him or her. Oh, that was Karen. Okay, so Karen is from Santa Tecla too. Now, uh, we're going to move on. And the next person that I see here is Ruth. The connection is better now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now okay, <laughs> excellent. Uh, okay, so I see Julio on the camera with Rolando, Harbin, Freddy's and who else join us in the with the cameras on? I guess just them, right? So welcome everybody. I am taking the attendance, right? We were having a little conversation at the beginning, um, but the show must go on. Anna Elizabeth. I'm here. Anna Mariela. We have three Annas in this class. Listen. Okay, uh, Brenda Erlinda. I'm here. 
Carl Lionet. Now here, uh, Hi, your teacher. Yes. Carla, Hi. Carla, Carla, Carla. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now I can hear you. Excellent, Carla. So we check that she's here and we continue with Diana. Here. Okay, uh, Flor. Let's floor around. I'm here. Awesome. Uh, Francisco? Present. Glenda? Glenda? Present. Okay, perfect. Present. Arvin? I am here, teacher. Jennifer? Jennifer, do we have Jennifer here? It's Jennifer Lopez. She's famous. Okay, I think she's connecting right now. Jennifer, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. I just have poor connection. Okay, don't worry, Jennifer. That's why I, I got disconnected for so a you, little moment. Okay, so welcome. And we have Juan Jose. I am here. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you today. Excellent. Okay. We start with the right foot, Juan Jose. Uh, Karen? Karen? Here, present. Okay, perfect. Sometimes we speak and we forget that we have the microphone off, right? That happens. Yes. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, don't worry. That's okay. We get used to this. So, Maritza um, Castellón? She's not here. Uh, Merlin? Merlin? Nope. Okay, Miguel Angel? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Mr. Rolando? Hello, I'm here. Ruth Sarai? I'm here. Suleima Lisset? I'm here. Jessica Janari. I'm here. Okay, now I see you. Jacqueline Chamara. Here. Blanca Stephanie. Here. Fredis Vladimir. I hear. Okay, nice car. And the last one is Julio. Present. Okay. I don't know why, but when I see Julio, I think about Puerto Marisco, right? That's the name of the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really love that place. And I, I, I am curious now because in another conversation, somebody said Puerto Marisco, I'm like, Okay, Puerto Marisco, Puerto Marisco. I'm going to investigate about <laughs> that place. <laughs> okay, you need, so you need, uh, you need to go. Yeah, maybe next time that I go to San Salvador. Uh, when okay. you go let me, let me, from, let me know. Let me know. I let will. me know when you. Let me know when you come to San Salvador. I'll, I'll take you there. You will be my host. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blanca, sorry. When, didn't hear you. when you came from San Miguel and came from came in the Pan America Pan Americana. Yeah. It's in the I don't I don't know how to say plaza. It's a plaza. plaza. The plaza is a plaza, yeah. It's a plaza in the in Soyapango. And oh. there are one Puerto Marisco. Puerto Venecia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plaza Venecia. So there's more than Plaza one, one Puerto Marisco. Okay, yeah. got it. Thank you. Yeah, I will definitely ask you for recommendations because I like to visit new places uh, to eat, right? Especially <laughs> now and for tourism as well. But that's another conversation for another day. Uh, let's see. What do you remember from yesterday, guys, uh, about yesterday's class? What did we study? What did we practice? What did we talk about? 
talk about fan fanboys. Oh, we talk about the fanboys, right? That are friends with the Backstreet Boys. Okay, yes. Hmm. Uh, so the fanboys are conjunctions, right? Or words that we use to connect sentences. Um, or to connect words in general, right? But especially we use them with uh, compound sentences. So we have two sentences connected by a specific word that expresses something. For example, uh, if you want to add more information, what fanboy or what conjunction should you use? And, if you want to and, and, and very good. If you want to express a contrast or a contrasting idea, what is a good word to use? A good conjunction. But but but, but yes, but. that's correct. But that's right. Okay. Um, then if I want to. Uh, for example, offer an option. Or, or. Or. Normally we can use or with. Or. With what nor. word? With? Nor. Nor. Neither. Or another. Okay. That's another one. Okay. <laughs> That's another one. Uh, no, I was going Neither. to, I was going to explain you the other part. Okay. Because yesterday, yeah. Nor is when you are, when you offer, well. When you give uh, another option, but it's negative too, right? So you say, um, I don't like neither perreo nor bachata, like somebody said yesterday, right? So you don't like any of the, I think it was blank <laughs> for her reaction. No, it was not. Okay, it was somebody else. Okay, so, um, so nor is another word of the fanboys, but I was going to explain you about or. So, um, when you don't want any of the two options, you can use neither and nor. But if you want to say that you like the two options and the two options are okay for you, how can you say that? For example, uh, if I offer you, hey, would you like to go to the park or to the stadium? And you want to say like, hmm, cualquiera de ellos, right? Uh, uh, Yo puedo ir a este lugar o al otro? Any, any, any option. Uh, okay, you can say, yeah, any option or whatever uh -huh. you want, okay? Or any, op whatever place you want. But if we're talking about conjunctions, you can say, for example, um, for me, it's okay, either uh, the park or the stadium, either or. So either or either or uh -huh. so I'm going to write it down in the chat okay or yeah either the chat would be or. better either or so for affirmative like the two options are okay uh, or you want to offer either two options or. we say either or, or. and for the no, negative you, neither no, is, nor nor uh -huh. neither nor okay and and in buen salvadoreño sería ni una ni otra yeah, neither nor, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. either or would be like, ya sea esta o la otra, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So either the park or the stadium. But it's negative. Okay. Either or is affirmative, neither nor is negative. That's correct. Okay, so either or, the two options are okay. Neither nor, the two options are bad for me, are not good, are not options for me. Okay, I don't like the options. Okay. None of them. Yeah, that's another expression that you can use to say or no options. Okay, I don't like the options. Now, that's a little parenthesis, right? We continue. Uh, I like to do that, right? Whenever you have a doubt, and maybe it's a topic that is not directly related to the class, but it's about English, you can uh, ask the question, right? Uh, if, you, if you want, I can explain you about another topic uh, that is not from the book or is not from the unit, is not from the class uh, in the 10 minutes, okay, that, that you have at the end of the session. So in this case, uh, for today, in particular, we have, let me check who's the next person for today. I need to have that document open better, just in case. <laughs> okay, so the person for today is... 
Jennifer. Okay, so today I'm going to be with Jennifer after we finish the class. Uh, so in those 10 minutes, you, I can also explain you something else, maybe a topic from the previous uh, classes. Or, what is my dog doing? I don't know. Okay, so um, that, okay, you can take advantage of that. If you have the time in the class, I can explain you as well, okay? I like to clarify doubts because that's the way that we learn um, by asking. So I love questions. Uh, Okay, welcome. Now I see that we have Maritza with us. How are you doing, miss? Can you hear me? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, we have been discussing different topics uh, this, well, uh, since yesterday, uh, Monday, we started with the restaurant. Yesterday, we continued talking about that. And today, we are going to focus on food, specifically food. So as I said yesterday, today, we're going to be speaking a little bit more, right, than yesterday. And um, the first thing that I need you to discuss, or the first thing that I need you to to consider, okay, for for the for the discussion right now, is what is your favorite starter? What is your favorite starter? I'm going to share the screen so you can see the questions that I'm asking you right now, and later you will go to the breakout rooms to express your opinion. Okay, we something that I like also is that you uh, come up with other questions with follow up questions. For example, let's suppose that you are discussing these three questions. What is your favorite starter? Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? What was the menu like? So if you want, if you finish, and I give you five minutes, and you finish in four minutes, you have one extra minute, you can ask another question. For example, uh, what is your favorite dessert, right? Uh, you can ask about a... Uh, your favorite drink. So you can ask about related to the topic, right? But you can talk about other questions. So that's what you're going to discuss right now. To give you an idea, to give you an idea, right? Uh, we have the conversation here. And in the conversations, we have Nancy and Jennifer. Uh, so how well are the menus, uh, the menu items doing? The main fish and ships courses are doing great. 99% of people like then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Um, hmm, let me check the online polls for a recent products, for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of our customers like them. Uh, probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Okay, so this is a conversation between uh, two people who work at a restaurant, right? And they are discussing about how much people like the, the products or the lines they have in the menu. So um, what is the objective? Okay, the objective for you is to organize a basic restaurant menu. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the menu of a restaurant uh, that features appetizers, snacks, makers, desserts, and drinks options, okay? So uh, just for pronunciation, don't forget that this word is appetizer, right? Appetizer with a Z sound uh, over there, appetizer. Uh, we have the snacks, the main course, uh, or the main dishes, right? Uh, desserts, okay? People sometimes confuse dessert with dessert. Uh, but that's a different story, right? Uh, if you ask me, do you like deserts? I say, no, I live in Samuel and I don't like deserts. Um, but if you ask me, do you like desserts? Ah, oh, that's a different question. I love desserts. In particular, I like cheesecake, for example. Um, so desert, you know, that is desierto, right? What is the difference? The stress because you say dessert, you don't say dessert. This, so the stress is in the first syllable. It only has one letter S and we are talking about a territory that has no trees, no water, like the Sahara, right? That's a desert. 
Um, and dessert, the stress is in the second syllable, right? You say dessert. The pronunciation is different because you say dessert. You don't say the, you say the, right? Uh, you have double S and we're talking about food. Specifically, something sweet, right? even though some desserts might be salty, but normally it's sweet uh, food, right? That people accompany with a drink like coffee or chocolate or milk. So that's after eating, after the main course. Um, and that's it. So that's what you're going to discuss. What is the main starter, your favorite starter, right? Uh, when you go to restaurants, uh, if that question is not very common because we normally don't have starters, uh, we go and order the main dish, right? But in some places, yeah, they, for example, if you go to Pizza Hut, right? They ask you, uh, so would you like to have a starter like garlic bread or cheese, I mean, breadsticks? So, and you are like, yeah, as we wait for the pizza, we're going to have uh, some breadsticks, right? With uh, tomato sauce uh, or some French fries can be starters. So think about probably some starters that you like. Um, mention if you have eaten or if you have ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant, maybe you don't have a lot of options uh, here in El Salvador. But for example, I remember that in Papa John's, they had the, the, the option of all you can eat and you pay like, I don't know, like $8 and you can have all the slices of pizza that you want. I don't know for how much time it is, but there are some options, right? If you have never been to one, maybe you can ask the question, would you like to go to one? Or do you think that you would eat a lot in an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Or maybe you can think about a buffet, right? Uh, you went to a, to, a, to a hotel or to a restaurant or to a celebration and they have a big table, a large table with, uh, with a lot of food for you to, to take. So uh, you can talk about that. And you can mention what the menu was like, the options they had, the prices, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm sorry if you are hungry, right, right now, and you're going to talk about food. Uh, I know that it's a little bit hard to do it, but it's a conversation. Um, Karen, you have a question. Yes, I have a question. When I go to a bar and I ask for a beer and they mm -hmm. give a, bring with the beer a little snack, uh -huh. that is appetizer, snack. That would be an appetizer, or... that would be an appetizer. It's an appetizer? Yeah, it can be considered an boquita? appetizer or a, or a snack. Um, let me confirm that as you are uh, in the conversations because you can use both. I, okay. I mean, I have heard, I have heard both. Uh, I think it's a snack because they don't pull as you want. <laughs> It's maybe. a little bit, or, um, maybe. or maybe the appetizer where it's used when you are going to have like a main course in the place. But if you just have like a beer and mm -hmm. then something else that could be considered like a snack, like a snack, right? Because it's yeah. smaller. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, app the appetizer is a little bit bigger. Yeah, probably a snack would be. But just in case, can, I'm can going I, to confirm, right? Can I say William? something, teacher? Sure. Uh, I'm going to say it in español, in Spanish. Okay. We will try to understand uh, what you say. Don't worry. No. Uh, lo que pasa es que en el, el uh -huh. restaurante en bebidas un aperitivo es eh, una bebida tal vez ahí podría haber una confusión porque como appetizer es un aperitivo mm. pero en bebidas también hay aperitivos ok yo, yo diría que yo diría que me, está bien la palabra snacks yeah porque it's more general en, uh -huh. ajá, ajá, porque en bebidas también hay aperitivos Y podría haber ahí una, una confusión. Podría, podría. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could could work like that. Yeah, because uh -huh. appetizer, I didn't know that it's possible to use it in, um, in um, what, for drinks, but... Uh, well, by example, um, when you are going, before you, you este, are going for the main dish, you can drink un aperitivo, que sería un, un vino este, no para el plato fuerte. Ah. Sino para se llama un aperitivo. But el maybe that 
the in Spanish that would be that would be used like that, but but in English, I uh -huh. think they usually use it for food. Okay, okay. In English, so but, una, but it's good information. It's good information. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, so that's what I was telling you yesterday, right? If you know something uh, that we're discussing, share it, right? Yeah, I was checking the appetizer. It's usually small, light, and, and usually savory first course in a meal. So it's at the beginning, right? Um, but if you look for a translation in Central America, they understand it as boquitas. So it could be both. It could be both appetizer or snacks, okay? Uh, I personally prefer to use appetizer. It sounds better, <laughs> but it's a matter of, uh, of, I mean, if you go to any, any restaurant, they will get it, right? Now, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms quickly. You will have just, um, let me check. Uh, you will be in purse. It will be just three minutes, okay? Something a little bit fast. And uh, just answer the three questions. Please take a screenshot, just a, so you remember the questions or you have them uh, handy. In three, two, one. Okay, and then I'm going to create the breakout room so you can go and practice with a partner. So right now we are 23. That means that will be a group of three people. Uh, let me check, 11 breakout rooms. Here we go. So please accept the invitation and discuss the three questions. Three minutes since the moment that you enter the breakout room. Okay, Jennifer, no problem. Okay, Maritza, can you join the, the breakout room, please? Maritza, can you hear me? Sí, teacher. Okay, do you, can you see the invitation to join the breakout room? Teacher. Hello? Um, Por casualidad no hablaron con usted con respecto a, a al nivel en que se me han ubicado. Uh, no. Es que no, no, o sinceramente no lo estoy entendiendo, sino que tengo que ir traduciendo. Estoy usando un traductor para entender qué ah. es lo que están haciendo. Okay, okay. So if you want, I can uh, contact you later after the class in case you have some extra doubts and I can explain you a little bit more. Si gusta eso, podríamos hacer que yo le explique uh, personalmente eh, algunos temas que están viendo para que se vaya entendiendo los más en la siguiente clase, pues ya pueda. Eh, digamos eh, manejarlos más fácilmente sí o sea por eso es que uh -huh. no 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 participo porque no 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 estoy entendiendo y no hay problema no hay problema entonces en ese caso eso es lo que vamos a hacer vamos a ir uh, explicándole ya a la par para que usted vaya agarrándole poco a poco porque también con la interacción y con el contexto se va entendiendo un poquito y y con expresar las ideas verdad intentar de expresar las ideas Eh, con algunas palabras, algunas frases, ya, ya se hace más la comunicación. Así que no se preocupe por eso. Vamos a acompañarla para que pueda estar ahí practicando con los compañeros. Ok, give me just one second. Um, Okay. Y 
en el, en el chat, teacher, no encontré su número de teléfono. Um, déjeme enviar un mensaje rapidito entonces para que ahí lo, lo identifique. Two minutes. Here it is. Ahorita le escribo en el grupo para que se identifique. I will say hello. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I will share one dictionary right now so that you can download it in your cell phone. That dictionary is really good. And ready. You will see a place. You will see a place, and they they sell uh, a Germany food, and you can find all kind of salchichas. <laughs> and chorizo, <laughs> all kinds of sausages. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the name of the place? I don't know the name of the place. Okay. I, 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 I I've been just one once over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. But it's in San Salvador, teacher. Another place in San Salvador. Okay. Yes. Well, that you will be an ex come. an excuse, yeah, to go there. Yes. A good excuse. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you say chorizos. Chorizos is like that. They say like chorizos. Chorizo. Yeah. Yeah. For salchichas, yeah, they say sausages. Uh, sausage. The singular sausages is plural. Mm -hmm. But in the um, most people that I have interacted with, they call it chorizo because they take it as a Latin, a Latino word, right? A Latin word, so yeah. It's like tacos, they don't translate them. They just uh -huh. say tacos, uh-huh. Okay, see and you. And pupusas. Pupusas the same, yeah. They just change the pronunciation a little bit. Hi. Okay, perfect, so we're back. And a uh, quick, I don't know if, uh, please use a reaction of thumb up or, uh, or I don't know, uh, claps or something. So that to understand that you finished, that you had enough time to complete the conversation with your, with your partner. I want to have an idea, very good. Yeah, you can use that reaction too. <laughs> because it was a funny conversation or what you were talking about was funny. So you can use it with no problem. Okay, the majority did it. Okay, excellent. And now, um, quickly, we're going to move, out, move on to the example conversation that we have in the, in the manual, right? As, as you could see. But before that, I would like to uh, make a parenthesis, right? Because I told you that I was going to ask for a couple of volunteers to share with us uh, the review they made for the restaurant yesterday. 
So uh, I need at least two volunteers right now. So I don't know if somebody wants to to activate the microphone and just read. I mean, you don't have to memorize it. You can read what you have uh, for the review of the restaurant. If you mention the name of the restaurant, it's better, right? So we know uh, what you're talking about. So who would like to start? Brenda, Brenda Wam. Okay. So, Suleyma activated the microphone and I think Rolando, right? Rolando yeah, Rolando. Brenda, yeah, Brenda. Rolando is going to be a second. We got it. Brenda, <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> okay, one girl and one boy. Very good. So, Suleyma and Rolando. They, they got them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instant karma. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, Suleyma. Okay, uh, I was working with Carla. Mm -hmm. um, Carla told me that, well, she likes to eat um, Chinese food and that she never tried to, to eat all you can do, but for the start are the... The roitos, I don't know how to say that. Rolls. 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 And in my uh -huh. case, I tried all you can use just uh, one time when was the restaurant Sambors. Oh, okay. um, I went to Sambors with my family to celebrate my, I guess that was my sister's birthday. I don't know, I'm not really sure it was years ago now the restaurant doesn't exist anymore <laughs> and oh. yeah and i waste i can say that i waste that money because i remember that i just eat eight six tacos <laughs> and i didn't enjoy that a lot because i was drinking no beer uh -huh. not like that water uh Mm, soda and something like that <laughs> got it yeah. okay thank you for sharing the conversation that you have right now with with your partner uh rolando i don't know if you would like to share about that or you can share with us the review as well well i <laughs> i will talk about my review Okay, perfect. About, about, yeah. Well, my favorite restaurant is Koi. Koi. Yeah, I really I really go to Koi. Enjoy. Koi offer Japanese food. For me, mm. is is the best Japanese food restaurant in El Salvador. I visit another Japanese food, but for me, Koi is the best. It's the best. Um, it's facility are semi Japanese atmosphere. The place is really is really um, good and the attention is, is greater than in another place that I have visited yeah Koi has the largest Japanese food menu uh, okay and that I know okay. uh, the size of the rolls in the is is the largest that I have ever eaten and the taste is really delicious mm -hmm. Ah, uh, my favorite my favorite uh, food is the ramen. They cook ramen. Yeah, they cook a uh, a really good ramen. They don't, okay. don't have compression. Yeah, and koi for uh, home delivery and also takeaway. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, this is this is koi, my favorite restaurant. Perfect. Okay. So right now, thank you so much, class, for both of them, right? Uh, Suleyma shared with us about the conversation, the three questions, and uh, Rolando shared about the review, right, of the 10 lines uh, for a restaurant that you like. So as the majority of you, uh, well, from what I understood yesterday, uh, basically everybody finished, right, the review, and people were who hadn't finished, they were going to complete it, uh, at home, right? Some of you already sent it to me uh, through the chat uh, as a recording or as a text, but I want you to listen to other classmates. So for that reason, I am going to create 
new breakout rooms, right? With more participants in each one so that you can listen to other people uh, talking about the restaurant and some information or characteristics that make this restaurant special for them, right? So please uh, accept the invitation one more time. Uh, this time I'm going to give you a maximum of five minutes, okay? Maximum five minutes. So you can share this information. Remember that you can help each other, right? Maybe with uh, pronunciation or something that um, somebody doesn't remember how to say something so you can help them out. And I am going to be entering the breakout rooms just to listen, right? Just to listen to you. So here we go, five minutes for more speaking. Here in one, two, three, go. It's just the review, right? The reviews of the restaurant. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay, Julio. You can go to the breakout room. Can you, okay, perfect. Okay, okay. Teacher. Hello. Yes. How can I say how, how can I say pan con ajo? Bread with garlic or <laughs> garlic, garlic, garlic bread. bread. Garlic, garlic bread. bread. Yeah. Okay. You're talking you're talking That's about the you're talking about the review of the restaurant, right? No, we have the <laughs> we have a doubt about uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is a doubt? We don't know. This is what you did yesterday, okay? What, what, what you're it? sharing right now is what you did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, you just we, have to read it. Mm -hmm. You just have to read it okay. to your classmates. Okay. Okay. Uh, See you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We are clear. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. We're going to start. 
Blanca volunteers, okay? Well, but when I go to Pizza Hut, for example, I like uh, their salad because it's like a buffet and you can get uh, some of this one or another one. And how often do you visit that kind of restaurants, Jacqueline? Maybe just once a month or twice. Uh, because once, yes, yes. I don't remember. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but what uh, uh, that ah uh, and how can I say durazno, durazno, fish, you know, fish, um, fish. apricot, no, 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 fish. No. Peach is, it can be used for a bowl, right? Yeah. Melocotón, yeah. durazno, y peach. Yeah. Peach. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Peach. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Peach tea. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, I, I like peach tea. And mm. just that. Mm. Ah. And peach. dessert. Uh, I like uh, cheesecake. Or I, I don't remember. Um, 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 I don't remember how they say. How do you say this? chocolate, but it's not moving. Ah, remember. you talk about a tiramisu? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, no? teacher. Thank you, tiramisu. That's yeah, a good yeah. one. It has coffee too. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, Papa restaurant is is better. Uh, I like more. Uh, for example, um, uh, I prefer los cebollines breakfast than pollo campero breakfast. Uh, the uh, is is more the service, and you can uh, if for the beginning uh, to breakfast uh, they have a. Um, Entrance, I don't remember entradas. I don't remember. Uh, put an entrance. Um, uh, other Appetizers. restaurant, I, I uh, maybe, excuse me. Appetizer. Appetizers, then la entrada. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes, yes. And another restaurant that I. Hi, teacher. Hello, do you finish? <laughs> no, we were talking that she said uh, in Grecia, I, I, I was telling her that, that you could say sticker. For what? Sorry? Grecia. I'm not sure if it's me, but I cannot hear, I cannot understand clearly. Sticker. We are talking no, no, about no, no, no. menu no. of La Calaca. Uh huh. Oh, okay, the, the La Calaca's menu. Got it. Yes. Okay, so we have just about 30, well, one minute more. So when the time is over, you can go back to the breakout room if you already finished, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like that. That's up. Uh, I don't. I don't remember this. The the name is soap caldo caldo. Uh, so caldo. Soap. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Soap soap is um uh, como caldo. Ah, you're no? talking about that. That would be like um, broth. Broth. Uh, for example, if you say chicken broth, that would be caldo de pollo. That is like a little uh, like the essence, right, of the chicken. So it's. Not yes. too much. It's just a little. It's broth. B R O T H. Broth. With okay, I I, I, I prefer the broth. The broth uh, that is essential, essential. But okay. when I was in Bolivia, for example, in Bolivia, uh, if, if people say to me, "Do you have a broth?" Yes, but it's not broth. It's a. Uh, it's um, very. I I don't. How do you say rala? <laughs> no era esencia. Rala la sopa. <laughs> sí. Me dieron gato por liebre. Me dieron gato por liebre. 
Yes. <laughs> and what's expensive? Uh, no, no. But uh, I feel that I I have to engañado. I don't know how you say. Uh, I don't know. Thank you, teacher, by the way. <laughs> You're mute. Oh, yep. sorry. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're back. Uh, I know that the time was probably not enough for everybody, right? Because in some groups, some people had more to share, right? In other ones, they, it was faster. Uh, but the most important is that everybody's in the same line, right? Everybody's in the same track. So we're uh, talking about the restaurants, about the things that we like. And now we are going to practice, but more focus on pronunciation, okay? In that exercise that we had right now, we focus on fluency, sharing, using different vocabulary. So with the conversation that we have as a model, uh, we are going to focus, but on pronunciation, okay? So um, we are going to start here with the, like with the volunteers. I'm just going to take the attendance. Um, I better take the attendance and later we'll practice so we don't have interruptions. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we have Ana Beatriz with us. I'm here. Excellent. And Ana Elizabeth? I'm here. Uh, Ana Mariela? I'm here. Good. Uh, wait a second. So, Brenda, Erlinda? I'm here. Carla? I'm here. Diana? I'm here. Azam? Flor y Dalma? I'm here. Francisco? Teacher. Glenda? Glenda, Laura? Hi, I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Harvin? I'm here, teacher. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose? I am here. Karen? Here I am. Maritza? Present, teacher. Merlin? We don't have Merlin with us. So we continue with Miguel Angel. I'm here. Okay, Rolando. I'm here, teacher. Ruth. I'm here. Suleyma. I'm here. Jessica. I'm here. Jacqueline. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. Fredis and Julio. Over here. I'm here. Perfect. So we almost have full house. Almost. We're just missing Merlin. Uh, that would be complete. So awesome. As I was telling you, we focus now on pronunciation, right? So I will say the conversation just one more time. Okay. Then I am going to be choosing the volunteers. If we don't have volunteers. Um, and we're going to try to pronounce everything the best way possible, okay? Uh, remember, it's we are learning. I mean, nobody here is a gringo or a gringa or Britain or Canadian or Australian or from any country where English is an official language or the first language. So uh, we do what we can, okay? But if we put an extra effort, we know that we can do it better. So, um, this is about popular menu items. How well are the menu items doing? Are the new menu items doing? The main fish and ships courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. 
only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of our customers like them. Probably, we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. So is there any word uh, in particular that you would like me to repeat or to tell you what the pronunciation is or that you have doubt, maybe, before you practice? Nope. No. No questions, no problem. Okay, so um, do we have any volunteers to practice? Diana? Me. And Me. Rolando, okay, Diana and Rolando. Now Rolando is a volunteer. Okay. <laughs> It's not karma anymore. Okay, so Nancy, will, you will start. Uh, now give me the time Rolando. to be. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, okay. you will be next, Brenda. You will be next. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, you will be in, this, in the second conversation. So you start the conversation, uh, Rolando, and Diana, you continue. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Um, let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you say, seeing the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Like. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people react well. Reacted Re well. Reacted well. Awesome. Okay. Class for the first volunteers, please. Excellent. Thank you so much, Diana and Rolando. Now we continue with uh, Brenda. I think Brenda was the next volunteer. No, it was not Brenda. It was who was it? Was it was it Brenda or or Blanca, who was it? Me, teacher. I was Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, Brenda and somebody who wants to practice with, with her? I want. Okay, so Brenda and Blanca. Ah, Ana Beatriz. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see you. So uh, we'll it's go with Ana and Brenda. Actually, it seems like it's gonna rain here in San Miguel, but not yet. So uh, Brenda and Anna and then Blanca with another volunteer. So Anna, you start the conversation. Brenda, you continue. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing well, very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online poll for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Okay, that's right. So thank you so much, ladies. Uh, reactions for... Brenda and Anna, Beatriz, please. Uh, I will use this one. What's the name of this little reaction? Tada, tada, ah, okay, maybe. Yeah, it makes sense, <laughs> but okay. So let's go on. Uh, Blanca, and who is the next person? Me, teacher. Okay, Miguel, perfect. So Blanca and Miguel. Blanca, you start the conversation. Miguel, you continue. Thank you. Okay. You go next. Go. 
How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips course are doing great. 90-90% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% or of customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new nachos snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably. Uh, we only have to re 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 revise the lemon cake signs. Not many people react as well. Okay, here we go. Thumbs up for them, please. Uh, just some words, okay, that I would probably uh, ask you to check. Uh, one of them was recent. Uh, the other one would be, well, doing, right, doing. And mm -hmm. since, uh -huh, that's right, okay, since that's in the last uh, line, in the last lines. And that's it. Other than that, everything's right. So um, same as I told you in the previous in the previous class, right? Uh, when you learn something new, you write it down, right? A word. But when it has to do with pronunciation, uh, something that helped me a lot to remember the um, the correct way to pronounce words or the way that the teacher used to pronounce them, right? Uh, is that I wrote down the word and in parentheses or slashes. I used to write down the word as I heard it, okay? Not like the dictionary symbols, right? Uh, but it worked for me. Uh, for example, on a piece of paper, I write down the word uh, since, right? You write it since, but if you see it, you think it's like that. But then uh, if you listen to a teacher saying since, ah, okay, so in, in parentheses, I used to write down since. Y solía escribir la palabra tal cual la escuchaba, en paréntesis o en plecas, eh, hacia la hora de estudiar o repasar, eh, pues, recordaba cómo se pronunciaba y no solamente cómo se escribía y, y qué significaba. Um, teacher, teacher, uh -huh. este, since uh, you said, uh, in, por ejemplo, when you are uh, talking about a company, mm -hmm. how long the company, it's been working. Usan uh -huh. la palabra things. Since. Pero ahí es desde things. Yeah, since. Oh, pero pero el, el significado es otro, right? In this case. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. So in this case, we uh -huh. are using it as ya que, o debido a que, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So in this case, we're using since in a different meaning, with a different meaning. Okay. That's right. So okay. it's a good observation, Julio. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're not using since like desde, okay? Oh, but okay. like, that's, that's, yeah, uh -huh. okay. So for example, mm -hmm. since nobody wants to participate, I am going to select the volunteers. So I can use it like yeah. that, right? I can use it like al that. Al parecer, al parecer. No, ya que. Ya ah, que. Ya que nadie. Ya que, okay. uh -huh. Ya que nadie. O oh, debido okay. a que. Debido a que. Uh -huh. So, uh, next person. Uh, we need two more volunteers. Don't fall asleep, Dan. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, it's normal. Floor. And who said me? Who said me? Teacher. Freddy's. Juan Jose. Teacher. Ah, Juan Jose. Sorry. What he, was, what he was talking about since, he means the other word since. S E N S E S S E N S E since like when you say since like the past. Uh, no, I think that he was asking me for this day, like since the last the last part of the conversation. It says lemon cakes since, right? It's since this, it, it's, it's the same word. About? It's the same word, right? It's the same word. That's correct. It's the same word. Uh, uh, but it's with a different meaning. Different, uh, and it's, uh, we use it for different occasion. occasion. A, dif a different it's meaning. Different. So remember that we have uh, adverbs of different types. We have adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of manner, right? 
So depending on okay. the context, one word can have different meanings, okay? Uh, okay. For example, when you use the word uh, milk, I always tell my students, right? What's milk? Uh, what the, the cows give, right? What we drink with coffee? Okay, and how do okay. you say, or, that's, so what is that? It's a noun, correct. But okay. how can you say ordeñar? And then they, they get blocked, like ordeñar. No idea, teacher. It's the same, okay. milk. So milk can be a noun and can be also a verb. It's the same as uh, water. What's water? Oh, it's what we drink. And we should drink every day, a lot. Okay, and how do you say regar? Las plantas. What are the plants? Water. So one word in English can be classified in different uh, aspects, in different fields, right? So depending, 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 yeah. uh, depending on the context, uh -huh. or depending on, yeah, depending on what you need at the moment, right? So yeah. um, it's like yet. Yesterday we practiced with yet, right? So we can use mm -hmm. it as aún in a negative sentence, right? Or we can use it uh, like sin embargo, right? So I don't like perreo. Yet I respect people who like it. So uh, so it's a different use of the word yet. Um, so let's move on. Uh, okay. So we have Juan Jose and Flor, okay? Uh, Juan Jose, you start the conversation and Flor, you go along. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the only poll for present product. Yes. You like to say, you seen the new national snack are doing great 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake since too many people reacted, reacted well. Reacted well. Okay, there you go. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, let me check. Here are the claps. So a uh, lemon, right? Lemon, that would be the, 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 the correct pronunciation, uh, like the lemon tree song. And then we have the, um, what was the other word? Okay, I want to put a little emphasis also uh, something that is difficult. It, it was difficult for me at the beginning as well, uh, is to know how to pronounce the regular verbs in the past. Uh, that topic is, is hard at the beginning for, for students uh, because as you know, we have three different pronunciations, okay? Depending on some specific details. So the most common, the most common uh, that we usually use is it. So we say reacted, worked, walked, like it. So at the beginning, people think that everything is this, with the same ending, right? And all the verbs with ed, you say like it, uh, you say work it or dance it or love it, okay? But the reality is that when you pronounce the ed as ed, it's only in two cases. When the verbs finish in the sound t, like react, or when the verbs finish in the sound d, like need, need. So in, when the any verb, regular verb finishes in those two sounds, you are going to pronounce the past with it. For example, needed, wanted, reacted, invented, okay? Edited, right? Editar, right? Edited. Uh, so in other verbs, in other verbs that, that I, could, I could mention. Then we have two more pronunciations. We have the pronunciation of the regular verbs in the past with the sound t. For example, like. So with some specific sounds, okay, with some specific sounds, the pronunciation in the past is t. For example, liked. Another example uh, that I was mentioning before is work. When you have a, a verb that finishes in the sound k, 
you are going to pronounce it with the sound t at the end. So worked, I worked, I liked the movie, right? I liked it. Uh, so I can connect it with the, with the it. And the, the other pronunciation is d, only a sound d. So uh, in, in which cases can we use it? Uh, normally, for example, the, the most common one that we can see is love, right? In the past, you say loved, loved. Uh, so when you say uh, dance, dance, uh, I danced with her, right? So, uh, and there are other, uh, many other birds that, that I could mention for every single sound. But as I was telling you, it's something difficult at the beginning because you need to learn when to pronounce it like this, when to pronounce it like that, and when to pronounce it like the other one. So uh, the easiest rule to remember is the last one, the ed, right? But I am going to be sharing with you some extra information, some extra links through the WhatsApp group so you can um, probably watch some videos or practice with some websites, okay? But pay attention to that because normally uh, that can make a difference, okay? Uh, the context is useful, right? The context is useful to understand what you're trying to say, but sometimes uh, people can misunderstand the message if you don't pronounce the verb in appropriately. So, uh, Freddy's comment or question? Yeah, do you say WhatsApp groups? Mm -hmm. I'm not in a WhatsApp group. Ah, probably because you're a listener, but I am going to be sharing that through the through the chat anyways. So you have access to that information. Okay, oh, okay. don't worry. Now, uh, we have space for two more volunteers right now. Okay, yeah, two more volunteers because of time. So anybody, uh, Ruth, thank you. And somebody else? Tick tock, tick tock. Let me check. Um, now everybody's looking at the other ones like, are they raising their hand? <laughs> okay, let me check. So we have uh, Ruth and who's the other one? I only see one person raising the hand, but there were two hands. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, perfect. Jennifer, you're going to start the conversation. Well, you, Ruth, start the conversation and Jennifer continues. Okay. Ready? So, Set, uh, how will I go. have a new meaning? <laughs> okay. How well are the new meaning items doing? Activate the microphone, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, we didn't hear you so clearly, uh, Jennifer, so maybe um, the connection is not that good. So try try it out with the with the camera um, off. Maybe that, that will work. Okay, can you say it again? The main thing is No, Jennifer, I think that the connection is not so well right now or the microphone. I mean, there can be two options, right? Two different reasons. Of course, right now, it's raining. Ah, it's raining. So yeah. that's the reason, that's the reason. So don't worry, thank you so much. I, I understand um, it's a little bit difficult when, when that happens, but one classmate is going to help you. Don't worry, we have a lot of good friends here, a lot of good people who like to help. So let me check, we have well, one hand up here. Okay, Karen. So Karen is going to continue with the conversation. Uh, please, can you read the second line, the second part? Okay, the main fish and ships courses are doing great. 99% of the of people like them. 
Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of the customers like, liked it. Okay. Let me check the online polls for the same product. Yes, uh, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers liked, the, uh, liked them. Probably. We only have to revise the lemon cakes since not, not many people react too well. Okay, there you go. Not many people reacted well. Class for them, please. Thank you so much, ladies. Uh, where are the reactions? Ah, oh, here they are. Perfect. So we're going to move on. Uh, I am going to resume sharing the screen with you so that I can explain you what's next. So we're going to do this, a couple of exercises, okay, to practice. Uh, so can you please, um, let me check, I will ask, I, I want to listen everybody, right? I already shared in the chat the video that I was telling you for the pronunciation of the three sounds, so you can check it out later. Um, I will ask Carla. Carla, can you please read the indication number three, exercise number three? Look at the graphic and the conversation. Write the percentage next to the product. Compare your answer with your partner. The new okay. lemon cake line, uh -huh. the new natural snack, fish and chips main course, which of the three products has the highest percentage of them? Okay, has the highest percentage, that's correct. So let's check your memory first. Probably some of you have the screenshot of the conversation. So what are the percentages for each of the lines according to the conversation? The new lemon cake line, what was the percentage? 35%. 35 35%. 35%. 35 Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, yeah. 35%. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, how about the new Nacho snacks? 80%. 80 80%. 80%. 80. 80. And how about the fish and chips makers? 99. 99%. 99%. 99%. So that one is the one with the highest percentage, right? Of acceptance by the customers. Now, something that I wanted to tell you also is that when you find these, these uh, links in the in the in the manual, you know that you can access those links, right? You just click on them or you can copy and paste the the, the link on the browser and you can watch the the videos or you can go to the websites to read or to hear or to practice more. So in this case, you have uh, 10 things to know about the restaurant menus and the absurd psychology of restaurant menus, right? So we know that when we're talking about menus, there are many <laughs> options, many types of menus. And now with the pandemic, we, have, we even have QR menus, right? So you just need your cell phone camera and you can see the menu online from your cell phone. So, the technology has something to do with this, right? But also creativity. In order to get to that point, okay, where you're going to create a menu and everything, we're going to do the exercise number four. So um, we have some specific words that you're going to classify into different categories. Can you help me please? Together, if you want, that's okay. How do you pronounce the first... Uh, food or the first type of the first dish Thai chicken and rice Thai chicken and rice that's correct number two French onion soup French onion soup soup or soap soup soup, soup. <laughs> okay, it's soup. Okay, I was just testing you. Uh, yeah, you have to be sure about that soup. I know that soap sounds like sopa, but soap, we know that it's jabon, so it doesn't have mm -hmm. any relation, right? Uh, so sure. if imagine, if, imagine if you go to a restaurant and you say, hey, give me a, a, an onion soup. 
Good. Teacher, you, you know, how do uh -huh. you say caldo? Yeah, I was telling that in the in one of the in the breakout rooms that the word for, for broth. caldo is broth. 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 With the theta sound at the end, right? Broth. Chicken broth or beef broth or iwana broth, <laughs> etc. Right. So that's uh <laughs> That's the word I wrote it in the chat. We continue with the next one. Thank uh, you. Burger, right? We know burger. burger. Next. Cheese, Cheese and tomato, tomato sandwich. sandwich. Okay. Is sandwich or sandwich? Sandwich. Sandwich. Sand Sandwich. Okay, la G, la G no existe. Solo en español decimos sandwich. Okay, o sandwich. But the, the word in English is send with the sound, with the letter D, right? Sandwich. Dwitch. Dwitch. Sandwich. Okay. Sandwich. Good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why we, we, I don't know, we say we, we with the letter G, but. Yeah, in, in Spanish we do that. But next one, lemon cake. Lemon cake. cake. Next, grilled fish and potatoes. Fish and potatoes. Okay, how do you pronounce this? Grilled, grilled, grilled. or grill it? Grilled. Grilled. Okay. Grilled, that's correct, with the sound at the end. Grilled. Grilled. Grilled fish and potatoes, that's correct. Next Grilled. one. Green salad. Green salad. Green salad. Next. English tea. English tea. English tea. Next one. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Okay, lemonade. And the last one. Fruit salad and cream. Fruit, sa fruit, fruit, okay. salad, fruit and cream. salad, and cream. Okay, fruit, salad, and cream. So you have starters, snacks, main courses, desserts, desserts, or desserts? Desserts. Desserts, desserts correct. Desserts. And we have drinks, right? In the starters, we have potato soup. In the snacks, chicken sandwich. Main courses, German sausage. Okay, sausage, that's another word, sausage. Um, and chips, right, chips. Uh, ice cream in the dessert and Irish cream coffee. That sounds delicious, that's a drink. Okay, so right now I am going to give you just two minutes, okay? But I need you to please write down, right? So write down the word, I mean, each dish or drink in the correct category. Okay, so three minutes, that would be better. Three minutes for you to complete that in your notebook, right, quickly. Remember that writing helps you to improve your spelling and also your memory, okay, to memorize the words. So go ahead, your time begins in three, two, one, go. Hello. Hello. You finished, Jacqueline? <laughs> no. Okay, right now you can write down all the words in your notebook or in your computer. Wait a second, Julio, don't give the answers yet. Don't give the answers yet. We're going to share or check together in a moment.
If you already finished, you can raise your hand so I can monitor um, how many people already finished in the exercise. Okay, so for participants already finished, good. I'm finished. Okay, thank you, Carla. I think I finished. Okay, perfect. So we have, let me check how many hands up. Six and seven. Okay, seven. Good. Finish. Awesome. We have 10 people now. Around 12 because some people said it on the microphone. So they also finished. Um, okay, 30 seconds and we check. Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. It's about the online questions that we will be answering after class. Why the same video it comes every time when, when, like when I answer the questions, then go to the next one and watch the video, the same video goes again and again, why? That's in the platform or a word. Yeah. In the, um, uh, in the web English incorporativo. Well, it's send like you homework. Can, uh huh. In the homework section. Yeah. Okay. So I, uh, I have the same video. I think that it's just an example of the platform because in this, in this, in this place, I don't you know. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, uh, I, I put, put the, the video conference. I think that just is, is an example. So they keep it as, probably they keep it as a, as a sample, sample uh, video for a... Yes, it's like, it's like, a, a, it's mm -hmm. like, a, like a teacher showing us a speech. Uh-huh. And when I play the next video, it goes the same again. Okay, it's yeah. It's true. Exactly. So uh, let me check. Yeah, maybe the, what Ruth says is true. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the platform tomorrow, right? So I can I can check what you're saying in case there is a there is a mistake, right? Or there is something wrong there. Because I normally check the, the evaluation, right? The grades that you're getting. So, um, but I don't do the exercises myself, <laughs> okay? So I will I will do that in order to clarify that. That that I have, you have. Any other question? Mm -hmm. I was answering and like, when I have to choose the words to fill in the blanks, mm -hmm. like, all of them, it, it shows that it's correct, but only one shows that it's wrong, but it's the only one that, that, that I have for, for that answer. I don't know why it marks it wrong. Okay. 
So uh, what we can do uh, in order to, well, what you could do in order to avoid that uh, or to clarify those kinds of doubts, uh, Freddie, is that you can send me a, a message, right? I am going to to share my my phone with you. So you can send me a message uh, with a screenshot or a little video. Okay, this is what's happening, or I have a doubt about this, and I will help you out. Uh, I was talking today with my nephew. My nephew is in the USA. So it's yeah. like, can you help me out with this? I do it, yeah. I, I do it this way. He's like, but okay. that's correct. So, uh, um, so I share with you the, the phone number. You can send me a message or with the uh, screenshot or the video, right? Of whatever you have doubts. And then I will, I will uh, help you out. Okay. So, uh, okay. Just uh, make sure to, to tell me, right? Okay, this is Freddie, right? And I will know that is you. So the answers, quickly. Uh, what do you have for starters? I think that Julio uh, shared that answer through the chat. Right, Julio? Yeah. Onion, okay, onion soup. Onions, French onion soup. So that's one answer. No, no onions, onion soup for starters. For yeah, snack. for starter. It's French yeah. onion soup. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's one. Green salad. And green salad. Green salad. I have green salad too. Well, because of space, I'm just going to write onion soup. Uh, and then you said green salad. What else? Max. Cheese and potato sandwich. Cheese and potato. Well, I'm going to say uh, just sandwich, probably. Is that, are you sure that's a starter or a snack? No, it's snack. Snack, snack right? Okay, so. Um, Starters, French onion soup, and green salad only. Okay, very good. So you said sandwich, right? Yeah. What else? Snack. A burger. <laughs> A burger, maybe. A burger, yeah, a that's, burger. Not a, that's not a main purse. Uh, well, it depends, burger. I think. No, burger can be a snack or a main purse. It depends uh -huh. on the size. <laughs> it I depends think. on the size, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Depending the person. <laughs> and depending the person, right? For some people, one burger is like an appetizer, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it can happen. Uh, what about the main purses? What do you have for this one? Thai chicken and rice. Okay. Grilled fish and potato. Thai rice. Uh, you said? Grilled fish. Grilled fish and potatoes. Okay. Grilled fish. And desserts? Lemon cake. Lemon cake. And Have you ever eaten lemon cake? I, I'm not sure if that's good. It's good. It's good. I okay. Yeah. Or some. And lemon cake yeah. and fruit salad. Fruit salad and cream. That's right. Fruit salad and cream. That's delicious. And finally. But not the least is the drinks. So, obviously, English tea, English tea, English tea, and English lemonade. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. They make it with strawberry, right? Yeah. Pink lemonade. Okay, got it. So we're done. Thank you so much. Congratulations. That was it. So, quickly, I would like to hear a couple of uh, volunteers mentioning one of your favorites in the category that corresponds. For example, I'm going to mention a uh, cheesecake. I will put it in the desserts category. One of your favorite uh, dishes in which, in, in which category it goes? Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Category for the garlic bread. Starters. 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 Okay, that's right. Excellent. Uh, another one. Uh, 
French fries for snacks? French fries can go for snacks, that's correct. Apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie for dessert. Apple pie is good. Yeah, I like it. Apple pie. Okay, cool. For drinks, can you give me one one uh one drink? Sangria. Sangria for drinks. Sangria. Okay, sangria. Beer. Okay. Wine. Beer. Beer. Wine. Orchata. <laughs> and for the main courses? Squid rice. Squid rice. Rice with squid. That sounds interesting. Rice okay. With squid. Shrimps. Mm -hmm. Shrimps. Shrimps. Grilled, grilled shrimps, maybe. Shrimps with garlic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't have asked that question at this at this time. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyways. We're almost done. Okay, so in the in the last um, let's say ten to twelve minutes, what you're going to do right now is to try to organize a little menu, right, in groups uh, for a fast food restaurant in your city. The menu needs to have five categories: appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts, and drink. What we did right now. And ideally, in each category, should feature three or four items because of time. Maybe you can mention only two, okay? Only two in each uh, category. And then, okay, then uh, what we're going to do tomorrow, okay? Today we're going to think and produce and everything you're going to discuss. And what we're going to do tomorrow is a little, uh, let's say presentation, right? So one person from the group can uh, share the menu. And as a class, we are going to vote. Okay, we're going to vote which menu we think would be the best one. Like, this would be a great success, right? So um, right now you will have uh, exactly 10 minutes, okay, to discuss with your partners. I will uh, send you to the breakout rooms. Don't forget to take the screenshot if you need it. So in the breakout rooms, you're going to be with, I think four people would, would work well, okay? So you have more minds thinking over there. Uh, yeah, six groups beginning now. Please go to the breakout room and discuss. Create a menu. And tomorrow you will share that menu with the class. Don't forget the five categories and at least two items in each category. Okay, we're still here. Okay, Jessica. Maritza, can you please accept the invitation so you can go and, and create the menu? Va a crear un menú rapidito para un restaurante de comida rápida. Pensando en qué opciones podría ir en cada categoría de las cinco que aparecen ahí. Okay, Maritza, are you there? No, we lost connection with you. So I'm going to move to room five. What do you think? Yes. Or is yes, an it's a snack? It is a snack. Because snack and appetizer is different. Mm -hmm. Which is the 
what's the difference between appetizer and a snack? A snack is like. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Based on the examples that, that we were uh, sharing, but we didn't the have exercise. appetizers. We have stars. Starters. 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 Uh -huh, starters. And we starters. have here. We have oh, so appetizers are starters. Is equivalent to a starter. Uh -huh, something that you oh. eat before you the main course or the main dish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, bread with garlic Start. and palitra. That's right. Okay. Okay. Trucker, that would be breadsticks. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, break. Bread. Bread. Sticks. Come, like bread. follow the pan. Uh -huh. Breadsticks. Uh -huh. uh, bread. bread. Breadsticks. But we cannot use the, the real name, Palitrakets. I mean, it's the name. Yeah. Yeah, if we, depending on how you structure the menu, yeah, definitely. Okay. It's a, so. it's, a, it's a menu in your city, so yeah, you can. What you can do is probably put it in English, like in parentheses in English, because you never ah. know if you, if you have tourists, right? Okay. So they need to understand yeah. what it is. Sure, uh -huh. right. Okay, Paletra You have gets. to think globally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And bread with Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, we need one more snack. Snack? Maybe one healthy? Fruit and yogurt? <laughs> yogurt. This is it. Yogurt may, maybe could be a, a dessert. dessert. A dessert, yeah. Mm. Dessert. Dessert. Uh -huh. dessert. Uh -huh. Yeah, true. I think the yogurt will be more like a dessert. Okay. Yeah. Yogurt, dessert. Um, I, I, but it's a it's a fast food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think in a in a in a pie, but it, like the pastelitos to to McDonald's. Ah, like McDonald's pie. apple yeah. pie, mm -hmm. apple, apple pie, pie. Mm -hmm. or cheese cheese pie. Cheese. Cheese pie is, is better. Uh -huh. Apple yeah, pie. Yeah, I like them. But we can have three yeah. options. Apple pie. And, yeah. And the minimum is two, pie. right? So, uh, yeah, minimum is two. You can pie. write down more. You have uh, six we more minutes. Another minute. We need another. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay, main course. Hello. Hi, Or is falling asleep. She's so comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is oh. the ladies' room. Let me check. Yeah, only yeah. four girls. Okay. <laughs> only girls. <The> power. <laughs> girls' power. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the power of girls. Okay. Okay. So we have the starters and snacks, right? Mm-hmm. Now, main course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chicharrones. Chicharrones, otra vez. Otra vez. Pero en todos los grande. tiempos. En todos los tiempos. Okay, are you talking about the three little pigs or what? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. Or La Casa del Cerdito, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like that. El Cerdito uh, Feliz. Uh -huh, the Happy <laughs> Pig. <laughs> the Happy Pig, that's a cool name, okay. Mm. Well, not too happy, but yeah, I know. Have a wonton, or maybe it could be wonton soup. It could be wonton soup. Yes. The next uh, fried potato. That's then, the snack. Yes. The snack. Yes. And then the main course. Bottle or orange chicken. Orange chicken. Chow mein. Uh, chow mein. Broccoli meat. 
that is that a Chinese restaurant or is a mix yes. of yeah. different? Oh, okay, okay. And cool. for dessert, it's fortune cookies and for drinks, green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Yes. I've never tried the fortune cookies. <laughs> What, are the, what is the name of those things that uh, they eat in the Kung Fu Panda movie? Like, they're like... Noodles. Noodles. No, they, they, they look like bread. Mm. Is it like dump, dump dumpling? Something? Dumpling? Ah, dumpling. I think that is okay. dumplings. Mm -hmm. Okay, dumplings. They look good. <laughs> Do you do you include wontons in, in your in your menu? No. Yes. 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 In the starters. I like the ones with shrimp inside, shrimp and cheese inside. They're really good. Yeah. There's one restaurant here in Summit that is called Lucky Dragon, and they they the owner is a Chinese person, and she's really really good. Okay. There's one right here in Sonsonate that's called Chino Joe. Okay, sounds cool. <laughs> so you have just three more minutes, guys, to finish the menu. Remember that two is the minimum. If you want to add more uh, items to the categories, it's okay. Okay. I mean, I think uh, hotcakes can be a main course for, for a breakfast. Yeah. For breakfast, yeah. for breakfast is a main course. Main course. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so can be hot cakes with chocolate or strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> hot shake with chocolate. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Crep crepa, crepa, crepes. Like crepes. Crepes. Uh, crepes. Crepes. Thank you. We can add crepes. In dessert, I don't know if we be Nutella crips, crips mm. with uh, Nutella, Nutella, mm -hmm. and banana, <laughs> and banana mm. and Nutella. That's a good combination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marshmallows and Nutella are are, are bomb too. <laughs> Oh, marshmallows, yeah. Mm. I'm giving you too many ideas. I think I better go to another group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you in one minute. Okay. Okay. Hi, Spring. Is a uh, beans, rice and beans, pico de ah, gallo. Pico de gallo. Ah. Yes. Ah. Okay. Limon, limon mandarino. Um, I don't know what. How do you say, teacher? Chicharrón is tocino. Yeah, that's pork. Uh, pork Rito? chunks, right? Uh, pork yeah. chunks. Yeah, like or so, pieces, uh, of, pieces of pork. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, avocado. Um, avocado. Avocado. Um, yeah. Use hot. Hot use. Hot. Hot use. Sauce. 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 Hot sauce. Okay, I okay. just wanted to check that. Okay, so we're we're done. The time is up. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, so hungry people, uh, we're back. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I, yeah, I was delighted with all the options that you were giving. So I better move from one room to the other one because it was too much, too many ideas in my mind. I told you yesterday that today I was going to look for the food that you were mentioning. I went for pizza, I went for chicken, and I went for, what was it? Ice cream because of so many options. And now I just wanted to clarify, uh, somebody was asking me about the chicharrones and there was a group that was thinking about everything related to pork. So I just wanted to clarify that 
uh, yeah, the pork, right? The, we know that it's in general the, the meat from the pig and we have the chunks, but uh, I wanted to make sure if there was a specific word for pork because we use chunks with, uh, for example, with chicken, uh, but with uh, pork, I was doing a little, a quick research and they says that it's pork rinds pork rind. I will write it down in the chat. Pork rinds. So that would be the plural, right? Uh, specifically for pork, that's a word. Um, now, we're going to check the attendance quickly. As I told you, tomorrow we're going to have the presentation, right? The mini presentation of the menus, and we're going to vote for the menu that we consider is the, the best one, right? So um, you can add Right, some extra items or elements to the categories. I would say that the maximum that you can have is five because if you add too many, remember that it's difficult for the customer to choose when you have too many options. So one strategy to create a good menu is that you don't have too many options, okay? So uh, just in case you want to start a business after this, this class. <laughs> okay, now uh, we're going to start from the last to the first person here. So we have Julio. Julio, are you there? Okay, I'm here. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Ready? Um, Blanca? I'm here. Jacqueline? I think it's easier to drink water with that. I'm here with the glass okay um jessica i'm here okay suleyma suleyma are you there maybe she's looking for food in the fridge uh root i'm here rolando i'm here Okay, yeah, we lost connection with Suleyma. I don't see her here. So, uh, after Rolando, we have Miguel Angel. Here. Uh, Merlin, didn't join us today. Uh, Maritza. I'm here. Excellent. Karen. Here. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here. Harvin. I am here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Glenda. I'm here. Francisco. I'm here, teacher. Flor. I'm here. Sorry. Diana. I'm here. Carla. I'm here. Brenda. Brenda? I'm here. Okay, Anna Mariela. <laughs> I'm here. Anna Elizabeth. I'm here. Anna Beatriz. I'm here. I suppose that by now you see me with a hamburger face, right? After you've been talking about food for so long. Now, uh, I just wanted to mention something. Uh, Jennifer has some uh, difficulties to stay for the extra 10 minutes. So I don't know if there is someone uh, else who would like to stay today. The next person in the list is uh, Flor, I think. Yeah, Flor. I don't know if you could stay today, Flor, uh, for the extra 10 minutes. I I cannot be here. No. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yes, I cannot. Okay. Uh, Ruth? Yes. yes, I can. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stay with Britt. Then um, maybe maybe Flor is going to Mama Mama Rosa or Doña Rosie. <laughs> okay, she Doña has Rossi. to go and, and get food. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, guys, do you have any questions or comments before we say goodbye and finish today's session? No, I no. promise. Today we're going to talk a lot, right? You're going to speak. So a promise is a promise. No comments, no questions, no doubts. No, no thank no. you.
All clear, teacher. All clear, like the Lempa River right now. Clear <laughs> with <laughs> chata. coffee. Okay, so I'm glad to know that. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to choose one person right from your group to present the menu tomorrow. And uh, we're going to see, right? Uh, who gets the most creative or the most delicious menu. And maybe you can get an idea to start your own restaurant. <laughs> so copyright, right? Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, see you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Okay, Miss Medrano. Hi, Gucci. Hello. Sorry that I got you uh, unexpectedly, right? Uh, as a volunteer for staying. Uh, but here we are. So uh, I was I would like to know if you have any doubts or any topic that it's not that clear for you or something that you would like to improve. Uh, in general about the language, mm -hmm. so I can help you? Yes, I think that my problem, or my, my, main, my main problem is with the vocabulary. I need more vocabulary. vocabulary, and the listening is very difficult. And for mm. me. It's, it's okay. a bit high for me. But the reading, I think that is not difficult, but I, I should uh, practice more. You should practice mm -hmm. more, okay. So um, normally, what do you listen to in English? Mm -hmm. Music? Music, yes. But I, I don't know what music. Uh, can uh, can help me more mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. the pronunciation of vocabulary. Uh, I don't know what music uh, oh, okay. she was for, for here. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, um, to be honest with you, uh, music can be good, but it doesn't help that much in terms of vocabulary. Um, because the, it's limited, right? So you don't have a lot of words or you don't have a lot of different structures in the songs. Everything is very, very, uh, I mean, repetitive, right? So it's not that uh, productive. Uh, what I normally recommend, um, recommend students to listen to is, uh, for example, news. Breaking news. News. Uh, however, news can be very fast. So at the beginning, it will be difficult to understand everything. Uh, you can uh, watch series in English. If you uh, want, at the beginning, at the beginning, you can use the subtitles. In English, hmm? with sub, sub, sub subtitles. 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 Or without sub subtitles. Uh, as what you want to improve right now, it's listening, but also vocabulary. I recommend you to use subtitles in English. Mm -hmm. So you can take notes of the new words. You can repeat, right, the, 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 that word or that sentence. Um, and at the same time, you are improving your spelling, right? Because you're taking notes and you're observing how to write the words. So in, I think that. Uh, if, if you use subtitles at the beginning, it's good because you are trying to get vocabulary, but also practice listening and you improve your pronunciation. Uh, but later, later, uh, what you can do is to start eliminating the subtitles and you just listen to them. So, um, or you can try both. You can watch the episode with, without subtitles just to test 
how much you can understand. Maybe an, uh, something that is short, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, and then you watch it with subtitles. So you can compare like, oh, I understood 20% of the, of the episode, okay. right? So, um, mm -hmm. but if it is too long for you, you can consider watching videos from different YouTubers in English. You know that the videos in YouTube are normally what? Five to 10 minutes. Um, and you can activate the option of subtitles too. But my advice is that first you listen without subtitles and then you listen with subtitles. So you can first challenge yourself, okay? To see how much you can understand because in the end, the purpose is not, is obviously it's not that you understand every word, but that you understand the message. You, under, you get the idea. So uh, if you get the idea, you know that you can communicate with someone. And then uh, the, when you start, well, when you have been practicing for a certain time, maybe for one month or a couple of weeks, uh, you, your ear is going to be accustomed to listening to that. So it's going to, you're going to understand more. It's like when you listen to music, if you listen to a new song one time, you get some 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 new words some words but when you listen two three four five different times the same song you understand more and more and more so repetition can help um another way to improve vocabulary that i consider is really important is by reading uh that is not the number one number one strategy to increase vocabulary so by reading so um, reading a book at the beginning can be difficult for someone. Uh, but for example, if you read an article about something that you like, maybe, okay, what topic do you like in general? What are your interests? Politics, fashion, history. Okay. Uh, so, you can uh, read some, some texts, some articles about history. Uh, for example, the History Channel, they have a website uh, where you can read documentaries uh, and okay. uh -huh. so uh, about the Incas, about the Lencas, about the, I don't know, the, the, the topics that you like. So you start taking notes. You have your own vocabulary notebook. That is very important that you have your own vocabulary notebook where you write down the new words that you learn. You look for the meaning later, right? Or in the translation, if you want, the pronunciation, you can listen to that. And you create at least one example using that example, that sentence or that word. Um, why? Because it for is important. review after. Maybe. I mean, you can review later but also it, it will help you to use the words in context because sometimes we know the word, but we don't know how to use it. And that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. So uh, for example, today uh, somebody mentioned broth, okay, caldo. Okay, so you are like, ah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I know how to say broth. Okay, give me an example. Uh, I like broth. I mean, that's not that's not a real example. So, uh, so you can say, for example, one of my favorite appetizers when I go to a restaurant is the chicken broth. Okay, for example, so it's a better it's a better sentence. Or if I ask you, okay, broth, what is broth? Don't tell me the translation. Tell me the meaning. Um, broth is something delicious. Okay, that's a definition. <laughs> no, right? Um, uh, broth okay. is is like uh, the essence uh, of the chicken or the beef when people make soup. So they boil it and they get the very dense, okay, a, a dense uh, liquid. Uh, and they put some vegetables and pieces of chicken or beef, beef, 
and they serve it as an appetizer or as a, as a snack in restaurants. Ah, okay, so I have a better idea now. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's like yeah, if I ask. So it will depend uh, about the context. Yeah, exactly. So you need to learn how to, not only how to translate the things, but how to uh, explain the words. So it helps a lot. It helps a lot because imagine that you're talking to someone from another country and the person doesn't speak Spanish. So they ask you, hey, this is a pupusa, right? Yeah. How do you make a pupusa? And you are like, oh my God, how can I explain how to make a pupusa in English? I never thought that it could be necessary, right? Uh, or if you go to a restaurant and you want to ask for, uh, I don't know, uh, a hamburger or Subway, because in Subway you have many, many ingredients. And, and, they, and somebody asks, and you want to say that you don't want, you don't want a, a Let's suppose that you don't want pepinillos, but you don't know how to say that in English. They will put it, they will add it to the subway because it's like, no, don't give me that. Okay, what? Uh, that, the, the green the green thing, uh, lettuce? No, the other green. Uh, cucumber? No, the other green. Pepper? No, the other one. Ah, pickles. Yes, that word. So you, you, you discover that uh, the vocabulary can be a limitation, right? So for that reason, I, I, I think that it's interesting or it's important also that you investigate about uh, different categories, different topics. Uh, something that I tell my students is, for example, uh, think about categories, for example, desserts. How many desserts in English do you know? And, and you start with by yourself, okay, uh, ice cream, yogurt, uh, fruit salad, uh, cheesecake, apple pie, chocolate cake. And so do that, use categories, okay? Uh, that can be a good strategy to test how much you know about different topics, how much vocabulary you know about different topics. Animals in English, how many animals in English do I know? And then you start writing down all the animals that you remember in English. So that can be a good test for you. And then you so investigate. The conclusion that is, I should be practicing. <laughs> yeah, you should be thinking about different ways to test yourself and also to challenge yourself, okay, mm -hmm. to get more words. So find different ways to, to receive the, the knowledge, the vocabulary. Okay, so that would be all, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much for yes, staying, Ruth. That, that, uh -huh. that just like that, because I think that the, the main problem is like, uh, maybe I don't have the, the habit, uh, skill, habit. The habit, yeah, the habit. habit That's uh, true. To, to practice more in English. Or to so investigate, I, uh -huh. yes. That's right. So, so dedicate, I mean, make a, make a plan. Make a plan, okay. Every day I'm going to take 15 minutes to read one page or to read one article or to watch a video, a little video in English and to learn three words every day. And you say, I'm going to do that uh, after dinner from seven to 7.15 or 7.30, no, 7.15, 7.20. That's going to be my 15 minutes of English before the class, All right? So in the time that you know that you can do it. So do it like a routine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after one month, probably you're going to do it automatically. So you're going to get used to it. It's like going to the gym. At the beginning it's difficult, but then you get the hang of it. You get used to it. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye.